The SK3500D is a supersized excavator that can reach really high, up to 213 feet. That's taller than most buildings. It's made for knocking down skyscrapers and other big structures. This giant machine is built on a special base that can lift 200 tons. It has a strong engine and a long arm that can use different tools, like cutters or drills. The person running it sits in a little room called a cabin. They can see what's happening at the top using a camera on the arm. To keep things clean, it sprays water to stop dust from flying around. Cool fact, if you stood this excavator up next to a 20-story building, it would be about the same height. Have you heard about the paddle boat? It's a new type of vehicle that can go on both land and water. Picture a big, boxy machine with tracks on the sides, like a tank, but it can swim, too! The clever thing is, all the important bits are tucked away inside to keep them safe. The drivers sit up front with all their gadgets. The tracks on the sides have special spongy parts that help it float. These weird tracks let it kind of walk on water. Now, it's not as zippy as a speedboat, but it's great at handling tough ground. The 8,000 electric circular saw is a big machine for cutting huge trees. It's like a giant saw on wheels. The main part is a 60-inch round saw, as wide as a tall person. It also has a tool that splits logs into four pieces. Here's how it works. The saw cuts the tree, then the log falls into the splitting part. It's quick and powerful. Drivers love it because they sit in a warm, comfy spot and use a joystick to control everything. It's almost like playing a video game. Cool fact. This saw can cut through a tree as thick as a car as long in seconds. The Asewa is a small car that's actually a tiny house on wheels. It looks compact, but it's full of surprises. Inside, you'll find two big beds. One is even in the roof that pops up. The clever kitchen slides out from the side with a stove, places for utensils, and a mini fridge. There's a big water tank that holds as much as two bathtubs. And get this, you can take a shower. Parts pull out to make a little shower space. It's perfect for camping trips or adventures on the road. Everything you need is packed into this little car home. Fun fact, Osewa means ox wagon in Afrikaans. The Atlant 4000 is a really cool robot that can do lots of different jobs. It's like a Swiss army knife for construction sites. The robot moves around on tracks, like a mini tank, which lets it carry all sorts of tools. One of its main jobs is using a big hydraulic hammer. The robot's arm can bend in three places, so it can put the hammer at just the right angle to do its work. It's built tough, too, with special parts to handle all the shaking and banging from the hammer. A neat thing about this robot is that it uses an electric motor instead of gas. This means it doesn't make any nasty fumes, so you can use it inside buildings without worrying about air pollution. The Mamoe SPMT is a big, flat vehicle that can move super heavy stuff. It's like a giant skateboard with wheels that can drive itself. You can get it with different numbers of wheels, depending on how much weight you need to move. It has a special control system and power unit that can be taken off if needed. The more wheels it has, the more weight it can carry. For example, with four sets of wheels, it can move up to 176 tons. Double that for eight sets of wheels. Good to know, these vehicles can be connected side by side or end to end to move even bigger loads. 
Keeping offshore electric stations running is a big job that needs some cool machines. One of these is the cable ship Endurance. It's like a giant floating electrician. To get power from these stations to land, we need lots of cables. But we can't just leave them floating on the water. That would be silly. Instead, we put them on the ocean floor. The Endurance, made by a Dutch company, is really good at laying these underwater cables. It can put down about one kilometer of cable every hour. That's pretty fast for such a big job. This ship is huge. It weighs over 12,000 tons and has a really long crane to help with the work. The BRDM-2 is a tough armored car that's really good at getting through tricky spots. What makes it special is how it can change its wheels. When it's not moving or while driving, it can adjust how much air is in the tires. This helps it handle different kinds of ground. But that's not all. It has a cool trick up its sleeve. In the middle of the car, there are extra wheels that can pop out. These help it cross big gaps or trenches. When it needs to, the car lowers these wheels. After it's over the tough spot, it lifts them back up. The BRDM2 is built to keep people inside safe. It has 10 millimeter thick armor that can stop bullets and small explosions. It can even go in water. There's a special water jet at the front that lets it swim at about six miles per hour. Inside, there's room for four people, a driver, a commander, and two soldiers. One of these soldiers uses the machine gun. The car has lots of useful stuff inside, like radios and tools to see what's going on outside. The ground chainsaw is a big saw that digs into the ground. It's like a giant version of the chainsaw you might use to cut trees, but for dirt. This tool can work on all sorts of ground because it has sharp teeth at the bottom. You can attach it to different machines that are made for digging. It's easy to move around when you're not using it. The Liebherr 934 is a big digging machine. It's really heavy, about as much as 10 big cars put together. The exact weight depends on what tools it has. It has a special engine made just for this machine. The engine is strong, like having 203 horses pulling at once. The person driving sits in a little room called a cab. They can see really well because there's lots of glass around them. The seat is comfy and can move around. There's even a way to make the air cool or warm and a radio to listen to. To make the big arm dig, the driver uses a special stick. Good to know. This machine is great for digging in small spaces in cities where bigger machines can't fit. It's often used to dig holes for new buildings or roads. The Renault Twizy is a small, fun car that's good for the environment. It runs on electricity instead of gas. You can charge it at home using a normal plug, and it only takes about 3.5 hours to fill up. On a full charge, you can drive it around the city for about 60 miles. That's plenty for most city trips. The Twizy has room for two people and can go pretty fast, up to 60 miles per hour. But it's not just quick, it's also really easy to park. It's so small and light that you can fit it into tiny spaces where bigger cars can't go. Good to know, the Twizy doesn't have regular doors. Instead, it has optional scissor doors that open upwards. This unique design makes it stand out on the street and is great for tight parking spots. The Guardian GT is a neat robot with one or two arms. It can move on tracks or wheels like a small tank. This robot is really strong and careful. It can lift very heavy things, as much as 400 pounds. That's like picking up two big grown-ups at once. It can also move pretty fast for a robot, going faster than most people walk. The people who made it say it's good for building things, but it can also help in dangerous places. The cool part is that someone can control it from far away. This means people can stay safe while the robot does the tricky work. Good to know, the person controlling the Guardian GT wears special armbands. When they move their arms, the robot's arms move the same way. 